Yo, what's up guys? I am about to head out there and do some fishing, warming up and getting my caffeine on with some green tea. Yeah, today I'll be doing some round trout fishing. I'll be fishing with the Strike King Red Eye Shad. This is the half ounce version. And fall is pretty much, I guess you could say second half. Uh, we're gonna be eventually transitioning into winter. And I thought that maybe this is gonna be a very good time to throw some rattle traps because they imitate shad. There's so many ways to fish this. I think I'm first start off by covering water. And if uh, that doesn't work, I might have to do yo-yoing instead of the straight retrieve. You wanna let it cast it out, let it fall down, let it flutter down, do a rip up in the air, and it'll fall back down. And I hope that I'll catch some fish. But anyway, let me finish this tea, and I'm gonna be doing kayak fishing today. So I gotta get my kayak out there and catch some fish. So let's do this. Haven't busted out the rattle trap all season, so I am gonna do some trapping right now. I'm fishing this windblown cove a little bit because I'm thinking that maybe bait fish get blown into this cove area, and I might be able to catch something. Oh, like I said, I might be able to catch some, and there it goes. First cast with this red eye shad, dude. What is this, dude? It's a good one. Holy smokes, holy smokes. Guys, this is a good one. Oh my gosh, first fish of the day. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, rattle trap, baby. Oh my gosh, please let me land this. Oh, snaps, oh snaps, oh, oh snaps. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm gonna freaking hug you, yes! <laughs> Dude, dude, it came off right here and it got onto the side right here. I barely had it hooked. Oh my gosh, this thing is freaking heavy. Stomach is getting a little fat. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> All right, I gotta get a nice photo of this. Give me a second, guys. Let's see. Let's see how much this weighs, right, guys? And put this guy on here. I say almost close to four, maybe. Let's take a look. Uh, 310. Not too bad. 310, guys. 310. Oh, baby. All right, let me release you back into the water. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the fight. Man, the water's pretty cold. He didn't really pull pull, but man, what a tank. All right, yes, yes. Whoa, got something. I got something. All right, not too bad. Looks like the rattle trap is the, gonna be a good day today. Oh, second fish, small, dinky, but um, full of energy. All right, upside down boy, but it's okay. I am using a light line today. I have a 12 pound leader and I have eight pound braid. I wanna be able to cast far. I wanna be able to cut through the water pretty fast. And um, yeah, I'm just going around the lake. This is a wind blown cove right now. And I'm hoping to uh, have some bait fish around this wind blown cove. And hopefully that will attract a lot of fish. And what I'm doing, is I'm just ripping these guys, uh, these lures up and let it flutter down. It's basically yo-yoing and then slowly retrieving uh, as it's falling back down just to uh, ensure that I have a little tight line, not super tight, but enough so I can feel the tap. And that that's how I got my first two strikes right there. So I am gonna continue using this technique. Seems like this is the key today. So I'm a, I'm pretty excited because I haven't rattle trap all season and you know, fall is the time to do it. And this is the first time whipping it out. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm talking, I'm just talking about this is the first time doing this season and it's on fire. It is definitely on fire. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This is not a good one. They're in a deep water section. It's not too bad. This one is probably like a two pounder, I think. Oh, holy smokes. Um, maybe not two pounder, but oh, 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 oh. Trouble hooks, trouble hooks, guys. Trouble hooks. Oh, 
not two pounder I was uh, deceiving with the water all right let me try to get this bottom hook off first I got him on a fin one thing you all should have are pliers when you guys are fishing um, treble hooks because you know you're running into these problems and you need to be able to get these fish unhooked quickly as possible and having pliers makes everything a lot easier that is very nice all right let me get a quick photo and release it all right here you go third fish in peace out Oh, here we go. Right in that corner right there. It's not a big guy, but it's here. Oh. I didn't get him in a gilgil, but kind of close. Let's see if I can get my pliers. Here we go, right behind me, which I should really put my pliers in the front, especially uh, I'm using uh, this rattle trap. All right, didn't hurt his gill. It just went into his uh, gill, gill bone. Read this one very quick. All right, cool beans. There's definitely a lot of fish in this windblown cove right here. So I passed a lot of them by accident. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I threw my big, big swim bait earlier. Uh, no cigar in that. I guess it's not, it's not what they want. The water cleared out. It's pretty much clear nowadays in this uh, late mid fall. So maybe the lure looks a little too big. These small rattle traps, small profile, wobbly wobblies, seems like it's working a lot better. So I don't know if there's a lot of fish on those walls. You guys can see on my map right there. I did go through the wall a couple times with uh, various swim baits, glide baits, and there's a fish right there. Holy smokes. He hit it with a vengeance and oh man i think this is a good one oh yeah this is a good one. Oh, oh man this is great oh, holy smokes guys oh it's a big pickerel holy smokes ah oh, no it's fully in his mouth oh no i need to give him some line Oh, snaps. You know what? Let me run my camera over there. All right. He's in my phone camera, too. Hopefully, I can get this up because it's in his mouth like crazy. And he is fighting really good. He is fighting really, really good. Oh, man. I got to put the drag back up just a little bit. Hopefully, he gets tired man pound for pound this guy fights a lot better than the other um bass because these are cold water speech whoa ho, 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 ho. he is actually really really good size um i never weighed my pick row so if i land this guy i am definitely gonna weigh it can't wait to get him up i don't have any sorts of um what do you call that net so i have to be very careful landing this guy screw it oh no 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 oh no 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 Yes! <laughs> Woo! Holy smokes, guys. You know what? I'm gonna have to weigh this guy immediately and then that, put this gripper in his uh, lip for a second. Cause uh, yeah, I'm not putting my hand in there and try to unhook him without getting his mouth secured. So let's get this done. All right, got him there. So let me just unhook this guy. I would say he's probably three and a half, close to four pounds. Not my biggest pickerel, but this is going to be the biggest pickerel I actually personally weighed. Oh, darn, sorry. Didn't mean to hook you twice. But let's see. Let's see this. Um, it is 39, 38. So it's actually lighter, uh, lighter than the bass I caught earlier. But man, check this out, guys. Freaking beast. All right, all right. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy, easy. All right, look at that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a photo very quick. 
Shoot. All right, all right. Back in the water you go. Let me uh, angle this guy a little bit. Thank you for the fight. Man, he's so slippery. <laughs> well, that's an easy way to really sit. Pretty happy uh, about that. Holy smokes. Yeah. Dang, this sun is so strong. Whoa. What did I get? What did I get? Some backwater fish right here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I better give it some slack right here. Oh, it's another big pickerel. Holy smokes. Pickerel number two. Oh, ho, ho. you know what? I better set up my phone very quick. All right, guys. I picked up another big pickerel right here. And he's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Dang, guys. All right. Number two, Pickerel off the rattle trap. And he is a beast. Holy smokes. He's about the same size as the other one. Let it go. Let's let it go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. I definitely don't want him to cut my line. I see the line in his mouth. Um, 12 pound test line, guys. This is going to be tricky. I gotta let him fight a little bit and oh no 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 don't don't thrash like that dude oh no I can feel my line in this uh, in the rows of teeth oh no please don't get underneath my uh drive you know this guy is basically playing me right now more than I am playing him I really don't want to lose this guy I don't have a net it's a bad bad habit of mine not to bring a net when I go kayak fishing but you know I run out of space sometimes and I just don't want to you know compromise the amount of stuff I bring and it, that's a very bad choice of, on my end anyway guys come on come on come on come on come on okay I, I, I think I have to take it back this might be actually bigger than uh, the first one you know you guys notice I'm not holding in my rod because uh, this rod is long and this guy is going left and right left and right I gotta hold my rod in the middle all right, I got him right here. I see him. I see him. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to pinch him in the head just like this. Boy, y'all, look at that, guys. Oh, man, this came off his mouth, right? I got him in his fin right here. Look at that fin right there. Oh, crap. And he's, he's actually biting my line the entire time. Holy smokes, I need to retie that. But dude, guys, this, this guy's a monster. Holy smokes, <sighs> look at that. Oh man, okay, okay. We gotta do an another weight right here. Another weight. This is amazing. All right. <sighs> oh, this guy's four pound, four ounces. Look at that, four pound, three ounces. It's touching, uh, t it's touching my rod right there. Uh, four, t four, three, see, okay. Four three, dude. This this guy's a beast. Oh no no! Don't clamp down on it. I I, I want to release you. I want to release you. <sighs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is a monster. All right, quick picture and release. You go. I go. I'm gonna cradle him this time a little bit. No 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 dude 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 dude. Uh, I see him. He's swimming. You guys can probably can't see it, but he swam away. Man, these pickerels are so slimy. I gotta use uh, the gripper next time and put his face in the water first. Then I get some breath, but uh, definitely these big fish, man. Ooh, they fight really good. Whoa, here we go. Got a fish. Wow, this is pickerel haven, I think. Holy smokes. Pickerels come out to play when the water's cool down. Oh man, that's a thrasher. That's a thrasher. Third pick. Oh no, it's on my rudder. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh man. Get off my rudder. It's behind me, so I might as well run out, run my other camera. Oh 
All right, what a pick roll day, guys. Pick roll day, left and right, left and right. All right, I got him on his mouth side. I could definitely lift up here, this one, here, boom. Ay, ay, oh, oh, ho, 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 teeth and treble hooks. No good, no good. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I, I, nope, nope. I, 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 I clamp them down with my feet, just like that. Voila, look at that. This is the red eye shad doing some damage today. Holy smokes. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Let me quickly. I, I don't think I need a photo of this guy since it's a lot smaller than the other ones. The video will suffice. There we go. Holy smokes. Look at that, guys. Pickerel everywhere. In you go. Just, just like a missile. Peace out. Peace out. Some guy that lives right on outside of uh, one of these houses. He said he was standing here one time and casting out here at this point, very point right there. Oh, here's a fish. And I was gonna say that there's a lot of fish right at this point. Okay, that's a good sized bass. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. All right, buddy. Oh man, he got locked jaw or something. It's like so cold and he doesn't want to uh, close his mouth or something. All right, let me just unhook this guy very quick. Small guy. I say he's over a pound-ish. Yep, just barely keep her, just keep her size. All right, in you go. Let, let, yo, yo, let go, let go. All right. Ooh, almost got that boat. That guy would've been mad. Whoa, here we go. You guys, you guys see that? That's a good fish right there. Oh no, it came off! Oh my lord, guys, that was an awesome fish. It was, oh my gosh, it dove. It dove. Holy smokes. Oh, I'm so sad. There we go. The yo-yo effect right here, baby. Not a big one. But I'll take it. All right. Can't believe it. Still catching fish. Still catching fish. All right. Oh, he took it really good. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this guy here and back it out a little softly. All right. Shouldn't have injured his gills, but I'm going to release him very quick. All right. Back you go. Peace out. Man, guys, that's one epic trip. I can't believe I caught that many fish on a red eye shad rattle trap. That means the fall fishing is really on fire now. Things are picking up, and eventually I might be able to catch a fish with a big fat belly. Because if they're holding on the red eye shad, that means they are holding on shad. And they're gonna be feeding up so fat that they can survive through the winter. So expect me to be pulling out some big fish coming up soon i can't wait if you guys are not throwing a rattle trap make sure if you guys are not throwing a rattle trap make sure you guys do big shout out to spillway guys for letting me get on a lake today kayak fishing here is super super duper fun until next time guys tight lines and stay warm dress warm it's freezing out here i'm getting out of here i gotta load up my kayak and out i go so peace out guys